Right, guys i am really excited for today's video this is the walmart beauty box for the month of fall just in time because yesterday was the first day of fall and the reason i'm extra excited about it, i do always like this box because it's really well priced and i've always gotten decent items i've never had a box that i've hated which i've had with boxes i paid a lot more for um and i've had some products i really loved this one I feel is a little extra special. I got a email from Walmart Beauty Box saying if asking if I was willing to pay two dollars extra. So the box was originally five dollars and it went up to six ninety eight, I believe. And then they asked if I was willing to pay an extra two ninety eight because I want to say it was nine dollars. I mean nine and change to be ten almost ten dollars. And I was guaranteed a better box. Better is not the word they use. I don't remember if it was Supreme. I'll find it in I'll find it in the email and I'm sure it'll be in the title. But I said, you know what? What's three extra dollars? So this box was about 10 bucks and it says Mindful Beauty on it. And it's definitely bigger than the past beauty boxes I've gotten from Walmart. They're usually white and just have the Walmart logo. And they're about this size, but they're not as thick. So I'm definitely curious to see what's in here. If you guys get Walmart Beauty Box, let me know if you guys upgraded or if you just got your original. I definitely got to watch some unboxings. I'm really, really curious. So we have the little book, as always, that shows the products we could have gotten. Let me see if it says anything about this extra box. Hmm. It just says the Mindful Edit, a limited edition lineup of products made without sulfates, parabens, and phthalates. And that's basically it. I wonder if this is like the regular white box. I wonder if all the products were different. I really don't know that much information. So let's just go with what's in here. And you guys will tell me what you think or what you know. So the first thing right on top, ooh, is a sponge by Real Techniques in blue. Ooh, I love this. This alone is kind of pricey. Oh, over here it says it's only $4.88. Yeah, I think it's the name brand beauty blender one that goes for like $20. But they say the real technique is a really good dupe for the beauty blender. Um, and this is just to put on your foundation, basically. And I love beauty sponges. This one says blend and mattify, miracle air blend sponge with antimicrobial infusion. Up to 30 days. And then it just says, evenly blend for full natural coverage without extra shine. Use damper dry to apply foundation. I, I can't talk today, apparently. Wet before first use. It says, coverage is medium to full. Solution is for uneven and textured skin. I definitely got that. Use with foundation, concealer, or color corrector. The finish is natural matte. Best when used dry. See, I've always used mine dry. I didn't even know wetting them was a thing. If you guys watch this channel, you know I just started getting into makeup. But I've been watching how everybody wets their sponge now. So I'm like, oh, next time I gotta do my makeup, I gotta wet it. Uh, but this one says use best is used dry. So that's curious. Air light foam hugs the surface of skin for a smooth, even coverage. This one has a three-point precision. If you guys can see that, it's like completely flat here. And it says that that is what helps with the more natural matte finish. The flat edge is to apply and cover, and the round edge is to blend and blur. And the precision tip over here um, is for conceal and perfect. So really excited to receive this. So this is like half the price of the box already. And I have plenty more products here. So it came with some bubble wrap to protect. And then let's see the next thing I got. Ooh. All right. So it says right here, everyone would have received. I, like I said, I don't know if this is for the regular Walmart beauty box or this like upgraded version. That's the word I was for. Upgraded, not better. Uh, everyone would have received one Bliss product and one Clean Beauty product. Clean as the brand name, C-L-E-E-N. The two options for this were a grapefruit water gel moisturizer or a lavender chamomile night cream. Okay, so I did not look at it yet. Which one would I prefer? Honestly, it doesn't matter. Because uh, I love lavender, but I also love grapefruit. I'm not a big fan of creams that are like just for night because I am someone that I don't really pay attention to those things and I just want to slap it on and go. So I guess if I had to pick one, it would be the water gel moisturizer. So let's see which one I got. I got that lavender chamomile night cream. Totally fine. I am, I could definitely see, it might not be, even matter. 
Um, I'm not a super skincare person, so you guys tell me. This one might just say night cream because of the lavender. Because lavender is known to be soothing and help you, like, fall asleep. So I will definitely try this out at nighttime. And it literally just says, deeply nourishes and hydrates. This lightweight cream is infused with lavender oil and chamomile extract to help restore condition and soothe skin while you sleep. Yeah, and it literally says it's formulated without parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, synthetic fragrances, and dyes. It is made in the U.S. with globally sourced ingredients. That's nice. And it says the lavender oil and chamomile flower extract help boost soothing properties. Snow mushroom and sodium hyaluronate help skin stay nourished. Yeah, and it just says apply to clean skin and neck using upward strokes. The only time I really don't like the night ones is when it specifically says you have to wash it off in the morning. Because there are days, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I forget to wash my face in the morning. I always wash my face before bed. But in the morning sometimes, I'm the I'm a snooze, snooze, snooze kind of person. For, so for me, if I had to choose between washing my face and brushing my teeth to get on time for work, I'm going to brush my teeth. So, um, but this one doesn't say that. So I'm sure it's actually fine to wear during the day. I'm sure it's more because of that um, chamomile lavender component of it. Because it even says it's lightweight. A lot of the times the one that's like specifically nighttime are the ones that are heavier. Um, Cause you're not, you really shouldn't wear like a heavy moisturizer during the day. So I believe this one's only night because of the lavender. So a full size is two ounces. So this is a full size product. And this right here is the cost of the box. This is $9.97. So the one, the other one you could have gotten, same thing, $9.97. So the value doesn't change. The only difference is, is that one has grapefruit and orange peel oils. Again, it's another lightweight gel formula. And it says it transforms into a water-like moisturizer on the skin, providing refreshing hydration. I love grapefruit as well. So honestly, I'm really happy with both of them. And then the one bliss product, because it did say everyone would get one bliss product. The one I got is the clarifying cleanser. This is not a full size. This purifying cleanser goes deep to deep into pores to clean them out and keep skin balanced, clear, and calm without dryness or irritation. I've used bliss products in the past and they've always been really good for my skin. I always really enjoy them. I have heard the Clear Genius line is really good, especially for someone who is prone to acne because it really does help deep clean those pores. It even has like BHAs in it, salic acid, which is all things good for um, acne prone skin. This one says the Brazilian seawater helps to gently detoxify and soothe for a clear, calm complexion every day. So that's really cool. I got two ounces. A full size is 6.4 ounces at $13. The other option that you might have gotten is a Bliss Jelly Glow Peel Daily Exfoliator. That one, the full size is four ounces. It's $12. And it says that it's just a peel that exfoliates with soft plant-based fibers that act like micro lint rollers to capture and roll away dirt flaky skin and to to help roll away dry flaky skin and dirt um uh, i'm kind of glad i got this one since i kind of wanted to cl try clear genius anyway but i am not gonna lie i do really like exfoliants so i would have been happy either way i'm easy to please and then these two products are in this little bag which is nice because if you have any leaking it kind of gives it extra protection so one of them is the hello extra freshening mouthwash this is definitely a sample size i like the hello products i've gotten um toothpaste in the walmart beauty box i've gotten two different ones um and i took them on a trip i went to in august and it was perfect so i probably saved this one i traveled to the full size would have been 16 ounces at six dollars and this one is three ounces it even says tsa friendly so this is perfect to put on my carry-on i am actually have multiple trips coming up i shouldn't say coming up because they're for they're in 2022 we're still in 2021 but i do have coming up in general you know in my future time so I can, I'll definitely take advantage of these. And this one is made with activated charcoal from sustainable bamboo. It's an alcohol-free black rinse that helps breath keep, stay next level fresh. So, and then the other product I got was the Alfia, if I'm pronouncing this right, authentic African black soap all in one. And... Well, the full size is 12 bucks for 32 ounces. Definitely not a full size. This is two ounces. And it says just gentle detoxifying multi-purpose black soap is made with certified fair trade unrefined shea butter and sustainable for even the most sensitive skin. Um, This one has a 
a lavender in it as well, made with love and respect. When you choose Alfia's Fair Trade Skin and Hair Care, you empower West African women, families, and their future. It says, handcrafted from centuries-old recipe, their gentle detoxifying multi-purpose black soap is made with certified fair trade unrefined shea butter so for any skin type even the most sensitive <coughs> and i literally just said <coughs> um, excuse me rinse area with warm water lather with the loofah washcloth or hands for gentle cleansing so this has multiple uses it does i guess it kind of does say that because it says all in one so you can either use it as a facial cleanser a body wash or a sa shaving soap and it just it does say for daily use so i'll probably end up using it as a facial cleanser most likely so because i tend to use my little sample facial cleansers very quickly just so it doesn't hang around if i don't end up using it because i do have a lot right now by the time i go on my trip i could always grab it and it would end up being a, a travelable body wash and then so I've got almost every product on this list because, like I said, everyone was going to get one Bliss product and one Clean product. I got everything else minus this, which I'm not going to lie. I would Oh, no, I did get it. So maybe that's what makes this a Supreme box because usually you don't get everything. And I literally got everything except this one's kind of categorized. And I only got one of each. Really excited. I was kind of bummed when I didn't see it in my box at first because it was hiding. I absolutely love Burt's Bees and I love lip balm. And this is a Burt's Bees squeezy tinted lip balm. And it's $4.99. This is a full size. And it provides a light, healthy looking shine with a hint of natural color. Enhanced with responsibly sourced beeswax and hydrating cocoa butter. Let's try this. I love lip balms. Oh, it has a safety seal. Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with that right now. So I will not try it right now. It says sweet peach really excited for this okay and then the last thing which is really cool too i noticed it right away is a candle and it's a woodwick candle i love woodwick candles they're the ones where the wick makes like a crackling sound i've had woodwick candles in my life before i've never had this size one it's definitely a smaller one but how cute this would look really cute in my bathroom and um would you consider this a sample size? Do candles come in samples? I guess, because it says the full size is $16.87 and it's 9.7 ounces. It's only three ounces. But I've seen, you know, you got when you go to like Bath and Body, they have the single wick and then they have the big three wick. Or you go to, what's the other one? Yankee Candle. They have the smaller ones or the bigger ones. I don't know if this is necessarily a sample size, but I guess you can sample the smell. And then know if you want to buy a bigger one. And it just says, fill your home with the inviting fragrance created by a natural wooden wick that crackles as it burns. And I got mine in white teak. Oh, that smells really good. And see, you can see how different the wick is. I'm sure, I hope you can see that on camera. And the inside even kind of explains the wick. And it says, the in plus wick innovation. This patent wick design delivers soothing crackle, fast fragrance, and a better burn. So this will look super cute in my bathroom. So I'm really excited to try out everything in this box. Uh, no complaints. I literally like every product I've gotten. Like, I mean, I haven't physically tried them yet, but I know I love Hello. I know I love Woodwick. I love lip balms. I love Burt's Bees. And I've been dying to try the Clear Genius line anyway. And a beauty sponge is always up in my book. The only two products I don't know for sure is this Alfia african black soap and the clean night cream but i'm excited to try them out so i'm definitely going to watch some unboxings because i definitely want to see what made this box different i mean i definitely see differences usually there's no categories like this one like there was in this one and definitely got more products because usually it's only what four or five one two three four five six seven yeah because i got seven um like i said you guys let me know if you got the regular one if you upgraded i'm really curious um but that is it for this video um like i said it's one of the cheaper boxes around whether it's at this upgraded price which is still cheap or the original price i always like walmart beauty even though i'm not into a, usually a bunch of samples for that price you really can't go wrong because you do get it's literally seven dollars and even if you only get one full-size item that full-size item on its own 
is usually more than seven dollars like this right here was 10 this right here was 15 this you know what i mean like this this paid for the box already this paid for half the box so it's definitely worth it and it's only four times a year that's another reason i really love this box because it is seasonal like i said this is the fall box so you don't like ipsy they do have one where it's all samples but one it's 12 dollars. it's a little bit more money and it's also like monthly so i feel like it's just too much it accumulates too much so i like that this is only four times a year i'm trying to remember to link it down below if any of you guys are interested i think right now they're doing a deal you pay an extra like five bucks and you get a halloween box i wanted to do it but then it re-signed you for a contract and i'm like i don't need two beauty boxes i guess i could have done it and canceled but i'm not someone who usually does, does those kind of things because then i forget to cancel i get frustrated and it's not worth it on my book. But right now, it is worth signing for the beauty box because they have that cute limited Halloween box. Um, if they had just offered it, like, for me to buy separately, I would have done it. But it, it only was available if you're willing to subscribe to Walmart Beauty Box. Um, I always do tons of unboxings. I also get Goldie Box. I get FabFitFun. I also just get mystery boxes from time to time. Sometimes I just get things in the mail. Like, I just filmed a Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul. So, if any of that interests you, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell. I just moved. So, I'm going to be having an apartment tour soon with all my cute fall decor. And I want to start branching out. I have a bigger kitchen. So, I'm thinking about doing some cook with me's. I have my own little office area here office slash craft room so i'm thinking about doing some craft with me journal with me and i also have a beauty room that's the one room that isn't done yet it will be done soon and i'm thinking about doing some try on holds in there so if any of that interests you like i said subscribe and hit the notification bell so be notified when i upload but that's it if you guys like me you like unboxings you like the walmart beauty box give it a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm like i said if you guys know any info on this mindful beauty box versus like the regular box definitely comment down below i'm really curious i am curious because it does say mindful beauty um i don't know i was expecting more like yoga relaxing things but i guess if if you think about it, it's, it is say mindful beauty. And I think beauty is the important part in here. I think they meant more like more clean products. Like this literally is a clean beauty is the name brand. This is like literally like fair trade. You can literally read all the ingredients in it. Like it's all natural. And this one's like a natural charcoal product and this one has like brazilian seawater in it and even this one says it's like antimicrobial and all this stuff so i think that's what they meant more by mindful beauty you guys tell me down below what you think about it but that's it for this video guys be safe